Try to learn more about the benefits of whey protein. We are now connected to Christina Herlambang. Uh, with us, she is a clinical nutritionist who has started her medical studies at the University of Indonesia and then took a dual degree program in medical science at Monash Faculties, at Monash University's Faculty of Medicine, Nursing and Health Science. Right, and she also holds a master's degree and specialty in clinical nutrition from the University of Indonesia and received a fellowship in nutrition and environmental medicine. Now, without further ado, let's welcome her. Hello, good afternoon, uh, Dr. Christina. Good afternoon, everyone. Nice so, to meet you. Nice to meet you too. So glad to have you here with us today. Well, uh, we have seen a news package explaining about whey protein powder, and we have actually also discussed it a little bit with Rory right here who has been consuming whey protein powder but can you explain uh, can you explain it again uh, what exactly is whey protein powder from your point of view oh yeah okay so actually the videos already shows a lot of um, information for whey protein mm -hmm. and whey is uh, literally extracted from the milk. so you can see from the video before, um, the liquid milk from the milk contains lots of whey protein and that's what makes it into um, whey powder. And they usually sold it as flavored powder, um, added to cakes, meal replacements, and also protein bars. You'll get um, instant lots of protein from those products. Mm, all right. Dr. Christina, how instant is the effects of whey protein to your body compared to other types of protein? Okay, so whey protein is um, easily absorbed by our cells, but if you want the effect as a muscle building effect, uh, you have to, to uh, combine it with the resistant protein, otherwise you won't really show it. Yeah, you have to combine those two. Actually, there's been a study about older adults with adequate beauty so that excellent strengthening. And there was a different amount of growth when supplementing with whey protein or carbohydrates. So, therefore, the evidence of whey protein strength is actually moved and it greatly varies between individuals. So, if you're already eating lots of protein from fish, from eggs, from mm. other dairy, high quality proteins, um, the benefits of adding whey protein probably would be minimal or mm. not really. So, um, yeah. is it still best for us to consume regular protein from you know um, fresh sources, for example, meat, chicken, or plant-based uh, protein sources? compared to taking whey protein on a daily basis, Doc? Yeah, the whey protein powder, what our concern is actually the quality of the products. Because we know there are lots of brands, there are lots of um, products that contain lots of sugar and mm. additives. And that's what we are concerned about. Um, as for the natural foods, they contain um, protein and they don't have the additional risk, you know, from the sugars that All right, well, my next question would be, is whey protein necessary uh, when it comes to doing workouts? The necessary, um, the necessary here is actually to maximize your protein intake. So we have to know what our is. Um, for example, if you uh, are gaining weight, mm. aim for 1.25 grams of protein per program a day. Um, and to achieve that uh, high number, we can do weight protein. But again, we should monitor, monitor the kidney uh, function and also other metabolic parameters to get our body. Otherwise, we get damaged. All right. Yeah. So, Dr. Priscilla, that comes to uh, my next question. Can we ever replace uh, other proteins just with whey protein? Is that going to fulfill 
what we need uh, in our body? Well, whey protein has complete amino acids, so we can use uh, whey protein. But uh, again, you remember how the make the whey protein they really has a lot of sugar, so mm. it won't be necessarily beneficial right, again, right. for us. So it's better to consume products, you know, that you know, with protein, for example, from egg, from fish, low-fat fish, um, or low-fat chicken, and we have all the necessary amino Okay, so um, Dr. Christina, um, you know, for people who opt to be a vegetarian or a vegan, they also need, um, you know, um, high amount of protein intake um, into their body. And sometimes by consuming whey protein, they can't do that because it's made mainly of beef. Um, do you have any recommendation for vegan or vegetarian people in um, getting sufficient uh, protein intake? What should they consume? Um, what actually contains lots of protein for vegetarians and vegetarians um, good meals, uh, nuts. So we should um, prioritize your consumption from product or vegetables that contain lots of protein. For example, legumes and, and also like lentils, that contain lots of um, protein. So like green beans, green beans, red beans, they contain quite a lot of protein. Um, Maybe. All right. Uh, and lastly, could you offer tips maybe for us um, to fulfill our daily protein needs maybe? Yeah, for regular person, we should actually consume 0 0.2 one gram of protein per gram or slow for a sedentary man, we should about 60 grams of protein per day, and an average woman should eat about 45 to 55 grams. And don't forget, we still need carbon to essential other than proteins with the carbohydrates, fats, vitamins, fiber, and water. Um, and yeah, turn. All right. Uh, thank you so much for the tip. So the key is balancing between, yes, right. um, you know, our daily intakes between carbohydrates, protein, and also obviously fibers. Right. right. Thank you so much, Doc, uh, for being with us today for all the insights. We hope that we can have another discussion maybe in the future with yeah. better connection and better audio quality. Right, guys? Exactly.